just ignore the problem because the place of conviction is a place of faith four years ago four years ago I I was in the room it was a, a, a copper's lodge for those of us who are not from Nigeria after a year after your uh, university degree you go to serve so I, I was serving my father's land so I became the, the president of an organization with the NYSE so we were in the secretariat the Copper's Lodge we were 80 in that compound all of us were youths so because so many things used to I mean, happen when it comes to spiritual things because it's a very very sensitive um, office so there was one of these nights that I finished, I just finished praying around 1.30 a.m. I just finished praying 1.30 a.m. I was supposed to minister 5 a.m. at the morning devotion. Just three, four hours difference. So I just wanted to catch some sleeps before 5 a.m. And lo and behold, as I was sleeping, I've not slept more than 10, 15 minutes when I realized that the, the temperature of the room changed. The temperature of the room changed and of course, I understood immediately what was about happening, but I didn't understand what was going to happen. If, if you are used to prophetic encounters, visions and revelations, you will be able to know and discern an atmosphere. So, of course, I discern the atmosphere and I know that um, I think the physical wants to meet with the spiritual now, so I was prepared for anything that wanted to happen. Of course, I just finished praying. After I, finish, after I finish praying, I am as bold as something else. So let anything happen. And lo and behold, the curtain of the window started shaking. And before I could realize what I was into, a demon flew in into my room. Short, not too short, just a middle uh, and average height guy. Man flew into the room with loads on his back. Then he stood beside my bed. I was looking at it now. And I was looking at it. I was like, uh, what has this guy come to do here? <laughs> I am tired. I, I don't have time. Will I start rebuking this one? I just took my cover clothes, covered myself, turned my back on the demon. After a while, it didn't flew away. Now, I was able to do that because, see, if, if, if God cannot protect us, why are we living? If God cannot protect us, why are we living? If God does not have the capacity to keep us from evil, so why are we serving him? If people go to Sangomas for protection and we claim to be the children of God, and yet, when evil comes, people, Sangoma people escape and the children of God are in evil. We must question our faith and question our belief. There is something we are getting wrong. It's either this Bible is fake or there is something we are missing in our Christianity. Ask you. I'm trying to open our understanding to how some people have been attacked over the times. Because they have wasted, the devil has made them to waste their strength in unnecessary battles. Then, again, the devil designs battles to distract us. At times we get distracted by battles. It's not all battles we fight. Moses told the people of Israel, says, stand still. So at times you don't you don't start to punch, you don't start to, to show your muscles, just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's all. 